so where to use parametric test and where to use non parametric test parametric test parametric test are always used for the data which is normally distributed a normal distributed data is the main requirement for the use of parametric test and the non parametric test they are used when the data is skewed and what is skewed distribution we have already explained in our one of the previous videos now the parametric tests are for normal distribution and then the parametric tests are used when our variables when our variables are ratio and interval no what these ratio and interval variables are called now these ratio and interval variables are continuous variables they are the continuous variables what are continuous variables continuous variables are those variables which are measurable for example temperature height weight volume these are the continuous variables ratio and interval are continuous variables and these are the variables which are present in our data when we are going to use the parametric test now in contrast in non parametric data first of all the distribution of the data will not be the normal it will be a skewed one then what type of the variables will be there in the data where we were going to use the non parametric test they are the ordinal and nominal variables now from our previous knowledge we know that the ordinal and the nominal variables what type of variables they are ordinal and nominal variables are also called the qualitative variables they are also called the discrete variables they are always in number ordinal nominal nominal qualitative there is some quality in a class how many males how many females in a group of 10 children how many have brown hair color how many have black hair color a proper numbers number of family members in a house it's a discrete data it's in numbers while in continuous variables they are measurable they can also be in points height can be 5 feet 2 inches temperature can be 55.5 but in discrete it can never happen it it will be the 10 20 30 so when we are going to use the non parametric test the data is skewed and the data will have what kind of variables it will have the ordinal nominal type of variables which are also called the qualitative variables which are the discrete variables in number they are countable they are countable in contrast to the continuous which are quantitative and which are measurable they are also called the quantitative further in parametric test we will have mean and obviously in every data where we will have mean we can also from mean we can calculate the standard deviations so in the parametric tests our data will have mean and standard deviations while in the non parametric test in data where we are going to use the non parametric test there we will have median we will have quartile range and we can have mode 
Now further, what are the parametric tests now? The parametric tests are a very popular student t-test, then ANOVA. When the data is up to two groups, when the data is up to two groups, we will use t-test. When the data will have more than two groups, we will use ANOVA. And in contrast, in non-parametric, the brother or we can say the sister of t-test is man Whitney U test and in fact has two brothers Wilcoxon rank test and the sister of ANOVA is the very popular one chi square. No other words me we mean that if you have two groups have to use if for the non-parametric test for the non-parametric data for the skewed data which have ordinal and nominal kind of variables in which in contrast to mean or standard deviation we have median quartile range or mode for two groups we have to use man whitney u test and wilcoxon rank test and we will have when we will have more than two groups we will use chi square now to elaborate the things further where to use the t test is pair t test and then we have unpair t test which is also called the independent t test what is a pair t test obviously in both pair t test and unpair t test the data is in two groups but in pair t test the both groups are the same the data in the both groups is in paired form say for example we have a group we do some intervention and then after the intervention the same group is again by it and then the means of means and standard deviations of both the groups is com compared here the data of the both groups is paired so we will use the pair t test when both the groups are different when the both groups are independent then we use the unpair t test and for the pair t test just for a non parametric test under the same circumstances for the non para para parametric paired group pair t test for a non parametric data a paired group the non parametric test is wilcoxon rank test When the both groups are unpaired, when the data in the both groups is different, their means are compared, we use the unpair t test. A same kind of groups whose data is not matched, not paired, but the distribution is skewed. We have to use the non-parametric test, then it is man whitney u test. So in this form, these are how to differentiate between the parametric test, non-parametric test. While there are MCQs or there are SCQs, we can always solve them. When we will have a clear concept, where to use the parametric test, what type of variables, which test, what type of data distribution and the same for non-parametric test.